Hello everyone, so um, I mean this is literally my first KSP video, um, uh, that has my voice in it, and so, I mean the reason why I'm able to do this is because I have a new laptop, um, for the past, I mean all my past YouTube videos have been, um, made, uh, have been produced, edited, um, using my uh, my previous laptop, which which, uh, which is a complete potato. Um, I mean, I even had to install Linux on it because I thought that Windows was running too slow. Uh, so yeah. But anyways, uh, now that I have a better laptop, um, I have access to a a, a better editor, a video editor and everything is just easier, so that's wonderful. And so, yeah. As you can see, I'm building the rocket now. Um, yeah. Uh, this mission is gonna be crewed, um, so Bob Kerman is gonna man the, the spacecraft. Um, I mean, the previous uh, mission, which was um, to do that, uh, it, it was unmanned, but this time it's going to be manned because uh, uh, we have um, more technology. And so here is the first launch. Oh, I shouldn't have spoiled it. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so hopefully everything goes well. In this. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have spoiled that, but okay. I'm going to keep this tape, yeah. Because of how physics works in Kerbal Space Program, it just does that. Um, also, concerning KSP2, I mean, I think it's yet yeah, it's already released, but uh, honestly, I don't know if I want to buy it. Um, I think I'm content with uh, with KSP1, uh, but yeah. So, as you can see, this flight is now being sped up. Um, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, as you can see, look at those beautiful, um, what are those called? Like, plasma flames. But, anyways, um, yeah. There we go. An orbit is made. But, yeah, so I kind of, uh, ejected the fairings a bit too late, I mean, a bit too early. And I didn't quite realize that the craft was still in, still well in the atmosphere, but now we're in space. And so, yeah, I'm just doing some science and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. So, let me just edit this window thing. Oh, look at that. Windows has window tiling. I like that. So, yeah. So I'm just playing with the maneuver now. I mean, honestly, I feel like I'm just um, copying some other big YouTubers, but I'm not exactly sure what to do with my YouTube channel, so I'm just experimenting for now. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, enjoy the footage, I guess. Again, this is my first time uh, going interplanetary. Well, not first time. This is my first time going to Gilly, I think. Like, um, for like, um, uh, how do you say it? I mean, I'm literally, um, I'm, I'm, uh, English is literally my second language, so I'm sorry. But, 
um, uh, for uh, during the what the several years that I've played this game, um, I've never really gone further than the Manum in this at all. I've, I've never gone to Jewel or Ilu or um, Duna or something. Except maybe one time, um, and obviously I went to Duna for this KSB series, but yeah, so this, um, <laughs> I've always played this game in sandbox mode, um, but now I'm playing this game on, uh, on science mode, um, and I mean, I mean, I, I want to complete the tech tree, uh, um, so yeah, no, it's unlock. I want to unlock the full tech tree. And I've heard that there are like, um, there are like, part upgrades and stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Um, because, I mean, I, I, I <laughs> because I don't play this game that, that well, until now. Okay. Um, because of this series, I'm forced to uh, to uh, do stuff. But anyways, uh, I think we're in a uh, where are we? Okay, so we're in Eve's uh, surf, uh, what sphere of influence, and uh, basically trying to get an encounter with Gilly. Um, I mean, I could uh, I could have been more. Um, efficient in, uh, in this playthrough, especially, especially in these interplanetary um, missions. Uh, however, it is literally like my first time going to Gilly um, in this game, so please forgive me. So yeah, as far as this YouTube channel is concerned, um, I'm not exactly sure what to do with it. I and mean, obviously, I started a new series where I'm gonna make, I'm gonna hopefully, I'm gonna make a new, not a new, I'm gonna make uh, um, a battle royale, an FPS uh, battle royale um, that uses fake multiplayer because I don't want to use networking and stuff like that. And with that project, I don't know, I mean, there's so many things, there are so many things that I gotta figure out. Um, like, uh, like networking, no, not networking. Um, oh my goodness, this music change is literally distracting me. Um, but yeah. Uh, there are so many things that I gotta figure out, like how to load and unload uh, meshes um, depending on distance and I have no idea how to do that um, but I mean the reason why I want to make these games is well I, I have no idea why I want to make these games and these hard projects but I guess it would look good on my resume um, but, uh, but anyway but anyways uh, we're, in, we're here now in Gilly and, I mean, I remember when I was playing this game, uh, or playing this, uh, this thing, this mission, um, I saw something like an easter egg in Gilly, like there's like a bright dot. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. But I decided to just not go there because I'm too lazy, and I'm not exactly sure, I wasn't exactly sure if I had enough fuel to uh, go back to Kerbin if I did go for that um, easter egg. However, in hindsight, I mean, I could have just, um, I could have just uh, used Bob Kerbin's uh, mono propellant and jetpack in order to go to that uh, easter egg, supposed easter egg, but yeah, but oh well. The episode is already, I mean, done-ish. All I have to do is to edit now, and I don't want to play this, um, I don't want to do this, uh, mission again. 
um, just because I wanted to go to that easter egg, but anyways, uh, touchdown on, uh, Gilly, so, it's cool. Look at that terrible flag. But anyways, um, I mean, you know, the concern I have for some of these videos of mine is that I'm actually uh, quite concerned on their uh, legality because obviously I, I watched uh, Tom Scott's video on copyright. Um, as it is now, um, and honestly, okay, this music has stuff, but I can't stop it. <laughs> I'm too lazy to, but anyways, concerning the legality of some of my videos, you know, I'm not exactly sure if it counts as fair use, um, when I just record myself playing, uh, playing Kerbal Space Program, because, yeah, because developers have tirelessly um, day and night, um, have tirelessly worked on this game, and I can't just go and video myself playing this game and steal revenue, but at the same time, you know, it's not like, uh, Take-Two Interactive is gonna sue me, I mean, so, yeah, but at the same time, uh, I think it counts as marketing, but, that, that I'm not endorsing this video game whatsoever, this this video is not endorsement, but anyways, this music has to stop, but anyways, um, yeah, and so, yeah, um, I guess, um, for as long as, um, oh, I, I forgot what I was gonna say, but, yeah, I mean, this, like, this episode of mine, right, this is really my first time trying-ish to make the video a bit more, a bit more original by adding commentary over it, although I, I guess it's not really commentary, um, but anyways, um, yeah, so here am I, uh, making Turban Encounter, um, you know, yeah, so, um, I, I hopefully the better graphics and, uh, better editing and better, uh, video production, um, hopefully that's, uh, hopefully it makes the video better. But here we go, we're going back to Turbin. Um, I mean, yeah. And so here am I trying to make the sort of orbit um, a bit softer. Uh, I don't know how to phrase this. But yeah, I'm just trying to make the re-entry less serious. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. I mean, honestly, um, this video, and my past videos, and my future videos, um, are all gonna be, like, low quality, for now, um, but I guess YouTube channels are just somewhere. And also, by the way, 
uh, when I was uh, um, playing Kerbal Space Program, when I was doing this mission, I seriously hoped that that this craft uh, wouldn't land on the mountains, in the mountains, and thankfully, uh, it landed uh, uh, beside the mountains, so on these sort of, I mean these are still mountains, aren't they? Um, but thankfully, uh, the craft didn't land, um, like on a slope, and so yeah, that's wonderful. And, uh, we have touched down on Kerbin, which is wonderful. And also we're in the new biome, so we can get more science, so that's amazing. Okay, we've got lots of science, what does that say? 4,572.7 points of science, which is wonderful. And so this is basically, like, now, I'm just, uh, I mean, this clip um, is basically just me figuring out what what uh, <laughs> what uh, parts I should buy now that I have so much science points. So that's wonderful. Oh, video is done.